That's my, that's my mark. Okay, so just to have some fun before you guys have to go stage check and everything. Sammy Hagar, David Lee Roth. David Lee Roth. Sammy. Oh, I can't get off the couch. I like I like his get drinks. Get off the couch. I like, you like his drinks. You just like the you like the Cabo. You like the freaking tequila. That doesn't count. I, I think it does count. Van Hagar, sorry. No offense, Sammy. Sammy, you are amazing. You are amazing. Without Van Halen. Yeah, without Van Halen. But Van Halen, it's it's David Lee Roth. Yeah. It's, it's, that's what Van Halen was for me as a kid. It was about the show, right? I mean, that's what you went to see Van Halen for. Right. Sammy, when you go to see Sammy, you're going for the technical, you know, Honestly, extraordinaire that he One is. of my first experiences with them, I saw a video where their playback was uh, detuned to half a cent. Mm -hmm. So it was off from the rest of the band. And so the, the, it, it was a jump, you know? And so the keys come in and it's all on playback. It's just like, duh, 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 and it's half a cent lower. And then, um, what's the guitar player's name? Eddie. Eddie. I, see, I'm not the, laughing. Eddie Van Halen. Eddie Van Halen comes in and his guitar's, <laughs> you know, above. I what? Hey, give me a break. Hey, hey, hey he's being honest. Yeah. And uh, so his guitar's like above. I was doing the splits. You know? And uh, it just sounds like oh. shit. I hope I can say that on here. Man, but it sounds. Say anything you want. It sounded. It sounded terrible. <laughs> and it's all over the video. And it's uh, you can totally tell because he like starts playing and he thinks he's rocking it. And he stops and he's like, he comes back. He's like, uh, he goes back to his guitar tech and he's like. Fix this, and no, it, all the guitars were, you and know, tuned tune normally. It was, it was just the, the dat, the playback. Oh, interrupter! Hey, Joey, muscle milk. <laughs> this after show? Yeah, get mine. I can get mine because you know how these. <laughs> so, it, that's uh, that's when I was. I just kind of turned off. You cut that out. I love. I was this huge. Huge into that. That and ZZ Top were right there for me. Like at that at that Top. age, it was like, huh? I love ZZ Top. Yeah, I still wanna. I still wanna cover a ZZ Top song. I like. Them. What I'm song sure. would you cover? Uh Shark Dress Man. He didn't. Didn't uh, Van Hagar do uh, uh, Hot for the Teacher? No, that was with Roth. It was Roth? Okay. Yep, 1984. That song's badass. Hot for the teacher. The drums in that are, are killer. Oh yeah, yeah. From a drummer. From a drummer. See, the, the, nobody. The, this is the, this is why it's so weird when you ask a band questions. He he has he has both because he's also a singer and he also when he plays guitar and everything like that. So he'll like a, he'll like different bands. He probably likes more bands than anyone in the band. Like you probably have more people in your iPod than anyone because you'll listen to a singer if you like them. You'll listen to a guitar player if you like them. Listen to a drummer. Jo Joey's kind of like that too. He'll listen for whatever he likes. Um, but most of the time when you ask a musician. I know for myself, the first thing I listen to is the vocals. I don't care how awesome the music is, if I can't connect with the singer, because that that's what I'm always focusing on. Uh, do you still hear drums first of whether you like a record? Does that still like kind of? No, no. I, I, I listen for the whole thing. Yeah. So, I mean, when I when we started when we started to record, you know, and that became our process. The uh, I listened for the the entirety of the group. Even if there's one guy that stands out, you know, because he's more, you know, technical than anybody else, that's not what that's not what I look for. I, I look for um, I look for the integrity and the authenticity of right. the band, you know, rather than just you know show off. And that's why I'm not a big uh, Van Halen fan because I just, I mean, it's really good, but there's a lot of like, you know, look what I can do, and right. I think that's cool and everything. But um, you know, Hot for the Teacher is a great song. Awesome. Because he's awesome. <laughs> hey, it ain't no crazy train. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. If you could spend the evening hanging out with one drummer of all time, dead or alive, who would it Woo! John Bonham. Good answer. That was sure. quick. Good answer. What about you, vocalist? Oh, ever? It's like being my favorite child. You just can't do it. I would get <laughs> flat foot, chocolate wasted with Elvis. There you go. <laughs> Okay, so we've had two sad deaths in the music uh, world this month. Both W's, Wurzel, Amy Winehouse. You get to spend an evening hanging out with one of them. Which is it, Wurzel or Winehouse? Winehouse, because we get fucked up. <laughs> 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 what did they say? The crack stock market just dropped. They were making like all kind of terrible jokes. It's it's a tragedy, man. She uh, 
she was a talented young woman, and I would, I would hang out with her and hope that we could have talked her. Yeah, no, off that no. And she's actually, I read one of her uh, interviews, and she said one of the greatest things about being a vocalist is um, she never took any lessons because um, she always thought that, that would kill her, you know, her uh, originality. Because you know they're gonna train her how to sing some other. Well, some song. of the things that you do wrong is what puts character in your voice. Yeah, uh, she sound, She definitely had her own thing, and it, I think it's mainly because you know she didn't have anybody, you know, master sensei teaching her how to you know do it like this. You know, because I think uh, I mean the teachers that I've come across are not players at all. They just know everything. So they're like, show you, okay, this is how you play it. I can't play it myself, but I know this is how you're supposed to do it. I think that's the worst thing you can do to a kid. I think the greatest thing that you can do to a kid is just teach them to... Uh, Hand them the drumsticks and lock them in the room. Just being a man. Like, learn, how to, learn how to play along with Figure this out. Learn the hard way. Well, so. you can learn technical stuff later, it w but if you already have a grip on like your own thing, then you can just always add to it and build on it. You know, If, you, if you're classically trained... It, from the very beginning, I think it's harder to develop your own style because you know the proper way to do everything. So you're not really doing some feel things. You missed the, you miss the point, and the point is to write something that connects with people and and people that are trained, you know, professionally or technically and all that. I think they they miss the point. They think that they have to be impressive to connect because right. they they you know. Hey, look what I can do, and people are like, "Hey, that's awesome. He's good. He's good. He's really good." But you know, when somebody's driving down the driving down the highway, you know, with their windows rolled down, they don't want to hear, you know, the most amazing guitar solo. They want to hear, you know, Bradley Knowles from Sublime sing about two joints because it makes them feel good. You know? Right. You got to have something to shake your heads, play your air drums too, and just right. rock out. So, a couple more quick questions before we get out and get you to sound check. We said Roth or Hagar. How about Bon Scott or Brian Johnson? That's really that. That's probably the toughest one you've asked so far. Because Lemmy or God? Wrong. <laughs> Lemmy is, is God. <laughs> uh, I would have to say Bon Scott. Just because it's so hard because he's done not an amazing job. He is he is the lead singer now. Of mm -hmm. ACDC. He has obviously earned that right. He has made tons of records there. He is the guy. Um, but I'm just, I get, call me old fashioned, whatever. I just always think that if it could be the original, you would take the original because it never would have got out of the box if it wasn't for Bon Scott. Right. right. But that guy definitely is like almost a carbon copy. Right. Oh, but he brings his own. Yeah, he is, and he, but he still brings his own thing. Well, know? which is the more seminal album? Hotter than Hotter? Highway to Hell. <laughs> I'm thinking Kiss now. Or Back in Black. Highway to Hell or Back in Black. They're both. They're it's like picking your favorite child. You just feel bad I mean, when you put one out, but you know. <laughs> when, the when the first one hit, it they were on the map all over the world. Anyway, they blew up yeah. on on the first one. So it now you're adding success to success. At least at least they at least they. But held that's out. pretty amazing that he delivered. Yeah. That, that at least heavily. they yeah. held out though. They were like they were like okay we gotta find somebody that sounds just like him because that's our sound and they didn't like Journey's new guy you know that guy doesn't look anything like him. what's his name Steve Barry yeah he, he didn't look anything like him but he sounds exactly like him and that's the continuation of the sound like yeah John, that I still can't get used to if that. John if John died we'd find somebody that sounds just like what the fuck man. <laughs> <laughs> so before we get out of here, Seriously. what do you guys have to say to the fans? Um, hey, if John Blake, dies, kiss my gonna, ass. If John dies, we're gonna find somebody that sounds just Blake like. Don't worry about kiss it. Kiss my ass. However, if I die, they're gonna they're gonna you know hire some amazing drummer from you know well I don't know. I'm not. I'm gonna hire I some freaking. I don't know if we can afford it. Like <laughs> one arm, one leg, freaking. Hobbit out of <laughs> Underworld or something, yeah, right. and just punch well, him every damn paint. At least put a sign after your last me dying comment. I'm gonna hold up, make one of them little face things, put it over him, and just punch him in the side of the head. But at least a one-legged, one-armed Hobbit can, uh, you know, ha you know, at least the the integrity of the playing will stay the same. Matches Blake Allison, John Falls, Egypt Central. This is Rustin with Metalholic Magazine. We're out of here. We'll see you on stage.